Hello and welcome to Afrofuse, your home for everything African urban music. Today on the show we are joined by a legend in Afrofusion music and you can get to tell us more about what you think about her, her music and her journey on our Facebook page at Afrofuse. Just search for Afrofuse on Facebook as well as on Twitter at Afrofuse. But for the moment, Atemi, hi. Hi. How are you? I am well. First of all, mm -hmm. what do you call your music? Oh God. Well, we used to call it Afro Neo Soul because uh -huh. it was an Afrofusion element and, well, not even an Afro element and uh -huh. a Neo Soul element. But I thought about it the other day and I was like, you know, I mean, anything that is African that has fusion mm -hmm. with other genres of music is Afrofusion, right? Mm -hmm. So why is it Afrofusion? Afrofusion. Afro Let's That's... see Afrofusion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And speaking of which, um, mm -hmm. one of the key markers, I believe that one of the singles that brought you to the fore, that made everyone recognize you, because you're now a force in the industry. <laughs> okay, let's go with that, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> One of those singles was Happy. Mm -hmm. Did you expect it to be such a smash hit? Well, also Happy wasn't supposed to be my song. Hello, now? Yes, okay. I was doing backup for Eric Wainaina then, uh -huh. and uh, he worked with Timothy Wimboui. Mm -hmm. And Tim was writing a song for a group, a young group of, 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 of musicians. Mm -hmm. And I was actually lent to him by Eric to do a guide. Mm -hmm. And we sang and the rest is history. It, it wasn't supposed to be my song. It wasn't supposed to be. So at the end of that session, it just worked and you decided. Well, I didn't, Let's... you know, I heard the song later and I was like, mm. I didn't even think that. I didn't even realize that I liked New Souls until yes. that song. Yeah. yeah? So it kind of changed mm -hmm. where I wanted to go with my music and mm -hmm. all of that. And I've uh, heard you mention uh, Tim, Timothy Rimbui, um, Eric Wainaina. You've worked with quite a number of people, true? I have, yes. Is there something particular that you look for as you work with people, as you seek to work with people? Well, you know, you work with people in different capacities. Mm -hmm. You have partners and you have people who you hire to do things for mm -hmm. you. Sometimes they're the same thing, sometimes they're mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm. I think what you really want is you need people who are trying to go in the same direction as you. That's mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Who are trying to go in the same direction of, as you and who, you know, you, sometimes you're trying to go in the same direction and people think you're in competition, so then you're working with somebody who's trying to take your work and you're mm -hmm. trying, it's just, it's just not, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. So people who are going in the same direction and who maybe understand your work ethic. Mm -hmm. So you avoid a lot of problems if, if, if that's what you're trying to do. And obviously people who you can trust, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, I've said this so many times. I've said talent is a wonderful thing, mm -hmm. but talent is not necessarily the answer. Mm -hmm. You could work with the most fantastic drummer in the world who mm -hmm. doesn't come to work on time, who doesn't bother to listen to the music because he's so good, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or you could work with a guy who's not as good as that guy, who's dedicated, mm -hmm. who wants to, who wants to be there, who mm -hmm. wants to learn the music. He may forget it a couple of times, but he's reliable and mm -hmm. you know that he really wants to do it. Mm -hmm. So there are so many other things that I consider mm -hmm. for talent. Mm -hmm. But talent is, well, I guess you have to have a little. We have um, we have a Kenyan we have Kenyan musicians in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. We have Kenyan actresses in Hollywood mm -hmm. who are winning awards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who I don't know, have you met her? You haven't? No. I met her sister. Oh, no? okay. that that so, works actually because no. it's blood relation. Yeah, it's blood relation. Yes, you can claim yeah, that. You yeah, can. You I can, can claim yes, that. Yes. Yes. I'm like I think we're kind of at a place where we also need to understand that anything is possible mm -hmm. for us, mm -hmm. right? And. I, I, I remember I was feeling discouraged the other day and someone said, you know, sometimes for your career, for whatever it is that you're doing, you just need to be willing to put in the work. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing now. Right mm -hmm. now we're putting in the work, we're mm -hmm. writing the music, we're trying to get it out there. We do shows like this, yes. with, you know, with you, so yes. that other people who may, may never, you know, come across my show, mm -hmm. who maybe someone else might hear my music and we go, we're going further, right? Yes. So when I'm talking about the Grammy, I'm yeah, not joking. Yeah. <laughs> It's coming. But definitely, I would like to, in 10 years, I would like to have crossed uh, the, the, the international barrier. Because, you know, the, for some reason, you find that um, Western musicians will become big worldwide. Mm -hmm. You know, Beyonce can come here and mm -hmm. perform. Mm -hmm. And we're, as like we're talking about earlier, guys in her shags know her name. Mm -hmm. They know where she used, which road she mm -hmm. used to live on, mm -hmm. and who her best friend was. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Here, we have a wonderful music industry, and where people know you, Nairobi mm -hmm. and 
It's, and, and other than that, when you think about it, can you think of 10 fantastic musicians, African musicians, who crossed over internationally mm -hmm. and are known for their music, not for being an African? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. when you think about Adele, you don't think, and she's British, she's a yes. good singer, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of thing that we're looking at doing. Mm -hmm. Let's be a fantastic musician first, mm -hmm. then let being an African be secondary. Mm -hmm. All right, so we know that the future has a Grammy. <laughs> yes. No, that's a guarantee. That's, yes, that's yes, done. I, I claim it. Thank I you. I claim it. Yes. Yes. So. Future has a Grammy. Yes. Um, the present, Atemi, is a force. It's it's a name that you hear and you listen. You pay attention. Really? Yes, it is. Who is that? Chick? <laughs> <laughs> However, what has changed between when you started and getting to this point? Well. A lot, a, a lot of, a lot has changed. I think maybe most importantly, I toughened up uh -huh. because I'm really, you know, you go and you this one door closes and mm -hmm. then you go and cry for three days mm -hmm. and kind of understanding that closing doors mm -hmm. and things changing are part of growth. Mm -hmm. So just because this one thing didn't work out, I remember this one time uh, there was a famous musician in town who shall not be named okay. and I really wanted to meet him mm -hmm. and I was talking on the phone to Eric and I told him, no, if I don't meet this guy, you know, he has a record label, then Eric told me, mm -hmm. there's no one thing that is going to change your life, mm -hmm. okay? No one thing. Yes. If you meet this one person, person nothing is going to change it's yeah. not the one thing that's going to change you forever yeah. okay so stop imagining that one day you're going to go around the corner and meet this person that who way. is going to completely change your life yes. stop it uh -huh. you need uh, bottom line I'll say it again you need to do the work uh -huh. okay uh -huh. so swallowing disappointment and saying okay so no uh -huh. so we can't come and do the show yes. okay yeah. I'm gonna do something else yes. uh, that's one of the biggest things the other thing is, um, I, I think when I started singing, because we had, I come from a musical family, so mm -hmm. we've been singing from the time we were small. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I you know, went to university, I sang in a cover band, I sang back up for Eric. Mm -hmm. I never actually had any formal music training. Mm -hmm. So after my first album came out, I realized how reliant I was on other people. Mm -hmm. And I kind of took a year off and learned how to play piano. And my second album has, maybe 80% of my own work. 80%? 80%, and my first record I wrote one song. Well in. Yes. Very well in. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Actually, yes. Given the chance to retake anything, mm -hmm. what would you go back and redo? Well, I don't, I'm not sure that I would go back and redo anything mm -hmm. because you know, I start, when I started when I started doing this, and you know, I started dressing in a cover band, mm -hmm. and I started singing with Eric. I was really not a serious person. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, it's I was not very serious. <laughs> in fact, I'm one of those ones. The family are like, oh, you parent? Oh, thank God, thank God, <laughs> you graduated from university. Oh God, <laughs> praise! Oh my goodness, I wasn't really. I wasn't that serious a person. Uh -huh. So I actually think that for me, the turning point was when when my dad passed away. I mm -hmm. kind of realized that life needed to be. So I guess the only thing if he had died earlier, and which is bad, you can't say that. <laughs> so I don't think I don't think I would I don't think I would change anything, mm -hmm. um, you know, unless I had grown my hair mm -hmm. earlier, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I think everything happens when it's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And sometimes wishing that you had started doing something earlier, you were able to jump into something earlier, is just you kind of maybe not realize that you're probably not ready. You're mm -hmm. not even, you're not in the place where that is something that could happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm interested in where the journey is going to take me. Mm -hmm. But as far as my musical journey is concerned, I'm not sure that there's anything I would change. Okay. However, the future does include me in your band. No. Okay. You want to ask it again? Yes. It does include me in the band? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Tabi. Thank you for, for joining us. Thank you for having me. There we have it, Atemi joining us today on the show on Afrofuse. Please do keep telling us what you think about her, her music, her journey so far, as well as the continued growth of African urban music. The page on Facebook is Afrofuse, and on Twitter we are at Afrofuse. But for now, I want to leave you with a bit of Atemi. Now get up out of bed, it's time to move ahead, don't care what people say, there's a rainbow outside your window, it's a new day, it's my sunny day.